Hi, this is Corinne Hyde, and I would like to talk to you a little bit about using Zoom and keeping things visible while you are using Zoom. So one of the challenges of the Zoom technology is that it tends to want to take over your whole screen. Now, if you are just using a video or you are just wanting to screen share and you're not wanting to look at anything else at the same time, then that's not that big of an issue. Um, however, when you're teaching a class session, oftentimes you need to monitor multiple uh, channels or multiple uh, modes of input and output at the same time. And so that can be a little bit of a challenge. So what I'm going to show you here is how I would use Zoom to share a PowerPoint while still being able to see the cameras and the chat and I'm gonna do this on a single monitor. So usually I use a double monitor setup, but for this purpose, I'm going to use a single monitor because I know that's what most people are working with right, working with right now. So I will say one tool that I have that makes this a lot easier is a tool that I got through the Mac App Store and it's called Better Snap Tool. And it allows me to take windows on my screen and drag them to one side and they just pop to where they're supposed to be. Um, I have that because this is an older OS on this machine. Um, I'm not sure if some of the the newer OSs might allow you, might have that embedded uh, or built in. Um, if you don't have that, you can always just manually resize things like I'm doing right now. Um, but what I would do is, let's say this is the presentation that I would like to share with my students. And you can see that I'm in a Zoom meeting right now. This is just a little private room that I opened up. And uh, so I'll even turn, let me see if it'll let me do this here. There we go. You get to see so many of me at once. So, um, so here's my camera. I would see student cameras on here at the same time. Uh, and, <coughs> excuse me, let's say I want them to see this presentation, but I also want to monitor the chat and I want to see everyone's cameras because for me it's actually really important to see their facial expressions and all that stuff. So I like to see, see those too. So I've resized my presentation so that it's kind of over here to the side and I can make it whatever size I want it to be. Now um, for a PowerPoint presentation, you can, you know, do it just like this and you can kind of click through if you want this to be uh, the way your students see it. You have some different options with how your students view this. So um, if you come up to slideshow, you know, you can hit presenter view. If you do that, whoops, there we go. Uh, if you do presenter view, it's going to, um, it's going to kind of try to take over. So I wouldn't recommend this if you want to also see your Zoom stuff at the same time. Um, now, you can also, uh, if you hit play from start, you're going to see the same thing. Um, it's going to want to take over your screen. So I would recommend not doing it that way. I would do it just like this. Okay. It's not ideal, but it's, uh, it's better than the alternative. So you're going to have this right here where, um, you, uh, that's going to show what your students are able to see. Okay. So I can just kind of make this whatever size I want it to be. I've still got zoom over here on the other side. Now watch what I'm going to do in my zoom window. I'm going to come down here to where it says share and I'm going to click share. And then up at the top, I'm going to go to advanced. Now I could just, what most people are doing is clicking this to share the PowerPoint, but you want to go up here to advanced. Okay. Then you want to come over here where it says portion of screen. You want to click that and then you want to click share. Okay. And now it gives you this little box here. Okay. Now I know some stuff disappeared. Don't worry about that. We're going to get it back in just a second. Okay. So I'm going to take this to where I want it to be. And I'm just going to resize this. And what that means is that this is all my students will see. Okay, they will see what's in this green box and that's it. So that's what's happening right now. Um, now, all I need to do is since my Zoom stuff disappeared, so I'm gonna go down here to my menu bar and I'm just gonna right click and see how I have a couple of little Zoom windows here. 
I'm just going to find my Zoom windows that disappeared. And you may or may not know which one is which. And then I'm just going to bring them right back in. You can also, um, if you click back to meeting, it will take you right back um, to your screen. And then if you want to still see your chat at the same time, you come up here to the top, it says more, and then hit chat. Okay, now I can move this around wherever I want it to be. So I will have my cameras up here. And if I had a bunch of students in the room with me, you would see a, you would see it like Brady Bunch style. There'd be a bunch of little cameras here. Um, and I can have my chat here. I can bring up my participants window. I can just kind of have whatever I want to have available. When I'm doing this, I like to have my chat visible so that I can monitor that. I like to have my participants visible. That way I can see raised hands. If I happen to have so many students in the session that I can't see all the cameras, this allows me to see who's got hands up. Um, and then um, I can just kind of move stuff wherever I want it to be um, on my desktop. And so I share, and now as I go through this PowerPoint, um, anything that I click on that is in this green box is what my students are going to see when I'm sharing. So I'm going through here and you'll see that I have, um, you know, my slides appearing right here in this box. So my students on their end would have the ability to see cameras. They could see the chat. They could see just what's in the box and not what's around it. This is really handy also if you have notes, if you have like shared notes that you want um, students to be able to see, but be aware that if you resize, see how it moves. So now my window is no longer showing what I want it to be. So if I do that, I need to move my window and resize it, but I can do that while I'm sharing. So, okay, now it's gonna show that. And maybe if I have a whole bunch of notes down here now, my notes are still only visible to me, but my students will see this. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, <clears throat> I'm, when I click stop share, you'll see, kind of goes back to my little view here where I can see myself and I can see my chat and, and all of that stuff. So if you have any other questions about this or you uh, would like to ask for any additional support, don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, we are working on trying to give you the support that you need here uh, in the Online Learning Collective. So uh, definitely ask us for the type of content that you would like to see. And we will do our best to create it for you and get it out there uh, and or find things that will help to resolve the issues that you might be running into. So uh, good luck, everyone. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And uh, let us know what else we can help you with.